All right, welcome back in. So I do know it's been a minute. Uh, it's I actually was I missed the video two days ago uh, because I'm working on this exactly what I'm inside right now. Now this is only a very small portion. This is actually a secret area that I'm not going to show you where it is, but it's inside of the hollow hall that I built for Public Resource World version 3.3. That's what the the actual video I've been working on for four days is going to be about, but I'm not done yet. I made this thing, and I thought it would be cool to show you how to make this thing, because it's creepy, and it's cool, and I love it, and I'm going to show you how to do it today. And uh, I don't know what this thing is, but it's a head that's eyeball follows you, and it's also a machine that you can do things with, and I'm going to show you how to make that today. So we do have to head on mosey over to a different... Uh, uh, version of the game because I am on public resource world but I gotta go over to my world so that I can show you what I built and we're gonna build it for you today now this how you decorate is completely up to you do it do what you do uh, you know yourself better than anyone else how to do some decorations and whatnot uh, but I'm gonna show you how to build the actual device so I set this up here and by the way having an extra wall is perfect for camera because for some reason Keen has decided they don't want to give us a camera I, I I don't know why but it's annoying anyways give us a free camera or anything alright so first thing I want to do is here in the center of the wall let's pretend this is my wall I'm gonna place down four of a block I'm gonna use the new block just because I'm gonna use the new block and what that block is is red marble block and then there is the hollow halls block I'm using both blocks today so what I need to do is I need to get this device. This is, let's look in here, this is your ectoplasm press. This is in the hollow halls, in the dungeons that are around the world. Uh, all of this stuff here is all new. We're going to be using this crypt book rest. We're going to be using the trophy for the cyclops. Why do I have two in my bag? I don't know. Uh, we're going to be using this specific brazier. Now, could you use others? Maybe. But this one actually works fantastically well. Uh, crypt candles, maybe, maybe not, and then either of these wall torches, it's completely uh, optional on your part. But I'm going to do something here. I need to get this up here to give me a sight line. So I want to have this centered, get it where I'm going to be putting it, and I'm just going to move it back because I'm not actually burying it in the wall. I just need a place marker because here's what I need to do is I need to get the tongue on the device on the machine to look like it's coming out of the mouth right between the teeth of the trophy so it's kind of kind of difficult to get the placement just right I think because I can't go all the way over I think up a tad I think that looks right so we're gonna try that we're gonna pick this guy back up and now this is why I use this wall because otherwise I can't see anything hello Keen I know you don't watch my videos because you're still mad at me but can you please give us a better camera for building thank you okay let's move on so I want this centered so you see the point down the below and it's coming down right on the center of those two pieces and then I want to try to get this the same as the one I just did which is kind of hard because if I follow the bottom jaw then the eye looks too tall if I follow the eye then the jaw looks too too low it's just kind of a <laughs> kind of an eyeballing kind of thing here that's funny eyeballing yeah okay I didn't mean that but let's let's move on all right so we pick this guy up and now we're gonna see how well we actually got this and so here's how I want to set this. I don't want this skull showing. I want his skull. But a little part of it is okay. I think the skull is too high. So I can have a little bit of it come through. Let's get up here so that I get a better. There you go. Kind of looks like a nose ring if I have just a touch of it come through. Like maybe right. I don't want so much that the eye, that it covers the eyeball. I definitely don't want that. I can dig that yeah yeah I think that works so it looks like he's got a little bit of a nose ring it's got the tongue that comes out by the way this is still usable so you can come in here and you can craft your different things even with this 
having a trophy head in its place, which this trophy gives you a plus one comfort. It's kind of crappy for uh, what you have to go through to get it. All right, but we're not finished yet because by itself, it isn't that cool, and we are going to add some cool to it. So we're going to come in here. We're going to grab, not that. We're going to grab number four. We're going to come right up to this block, but I'm not going to go past the block, and I'm going to chunk an entire two block deep out of this. Here's where I get my number six brazier. And it doesn't matter if you turn this. It literally makes no difference. So look at the two corners of the, I don't know, stone lintel or whatever mantle that the bowl is sitting on and that's how how I want to put it. I want those two pieces coming right to the edge just like that right nice looks good so we're gonna bring this back out we're gonna hit Y and get rid of that now you could actually leave it like that because it does look pretty cool I think the bones work really well I think the round part looks really well and and you'd be fine right there now if you look real carefully there is fire coming out of this now where there was nothing before. But we're going to take it just a step further and kind of give it a little bit of a je ne sais quoi. So we're going to come out like this. Come on. I'm not going to do this corner. Now, whichever corner you do it on, where you do it on is completely up to you. But I'm going to leave it like that. We're going to call it number four here. Once again, I'm going to come back and use my wall as my camera canceller. I'm going to hold R. I'm going to turn this a little bit. I think that looks good. And all I want to do is I want to make sure these pointy feet part don't stick out. So when I hit or when I put one piece in there, I don't want those pieces to stick out, but I don't want it to cover the bowl either. So we're kind of like, kind of like there. So it's not hitting the bowl. And probably once I do this, yeah, I love it. That works great. Now, you can't really see what's going on here until I do this. So we need a roof on this bad boy. We'll go back to, uh, let's take X off. We'll go back to the same material we're using already. Once again, get my roof because, you know, eh, problems. All right. So now you can see why I do it this way. Otherwise, it's just a bowl. There's nothing happens unless you have this lid. It's the same thing as a fireplace. That's literally what I'm doing here is a green fireplace, although it doesn't act as a fireplace. Now, the last option, you can either choose something like this to, to side it, which I think look really well together. I think the, the uh, kind of head skull on fire looks fantastic. Or if you don't like the... Yeah, that's tricky. There you go. There, the other option that you have is this. It works really well, too. And this is actually brighter, if I remember correctly. Eh, I wouldn't say it's brighter. I like the skulls better. So choose what you wish on whether you want the skulls or not. And then the very, very, very last step, I actually have to remove the ceiling to do the last step. And this is completely optional. P uh, do it if you choose to do it. Don't do it. It's completely up to you. This is what I did inside that hollow halls. I got in there, I chunked the ceiling up and then returned it. So basically, I'm just going to put skull candles in here. Fill as many of them up as I can, which is either three or four. It depends on how if it's being nice to you or not. Yeah, three works for me. Good enough. So we're going to come here. We're going to get rid of this bad boy, and then we're going to put our ceiling back. And there you go. So now the top even glows. The bottom glows. You've got some cool lights on the side. Obviously the one I did differently. And you get this really cool look. I don't know what you want to call this thing. The decimator. I don't know. And you can do it in one block thickness. So that's really cool. All of what you get. Still functional. All of what you get out of this. Just one small space. And then decorate it to your choice. Thanks for watching.